very good morning to all of you. I once again welcome you all to this current video lecture. As you know that in the last video, we completed one important point regarding the, the property of a molecule that is a particular dipole moment. For this dipole moment, what are the different methods of determination so that methods we already completed in the last video lecture now after studying that particular methods of determination of dipole moment today we are going to take the next aspect of this dipole moment that is called as the applications of dipole moment measurement why it is necessary for us to study this dipole moment or why we study the measurement of this dipole moment what is its application or what is its, its role in order to determine the molecular structure so that aspect we are going to study in a today's lecture now name of the point is a applications of dipole moment measurement so number of applications is there regarding this measurement of dipole moment so today we have to take one important applications of this measurement of dipole moment and that application is called as the percentage ionic character so this is the first important application of a dipole moment measurement now we know very well the dipole moment of a molecule before that we completed or we studied one important aspect regarding any molecule and that is called as the types of the molecules so molecules are classified into the two broad classes polar molecule and non-polar molecule if a molecule is a polar molecule that molecule must have a resultant value of the dipole moment on the another hand if a molecule is a non-polar it has the zero value of the dipole moment now once we know that a given molecule is a polar or non-polar if suppose a molecule is a polar then our duty is that or our aim is that to find out what is the percentage ionic character of a molecule what is the percentage ionic character of a molecule if a molecule is a polar so what is the percentage of the ionic, ionic character is there in that molecule so that is the first applications of this type of the dipole moment measurement so to understand this particular aspect we have to consider a simplest example of a polar molecule so for this purpose i consider here a simplest example of po polar molecule that is called as the hcl or it is called as a, our hydrochloric acid we know that this compound is called as the polar compound and why this is a polar compound because it has the presence of the bond moment is there in this compound the presence of the bond moment is there and that's why this compound show the resultant value of the dipole moment so if we consider the observed value of dipole moment for this hcl molecule the dipole moment for this hcl molecule the observed dipole moment the observed dipole moment The observed dipole moment for the HCl is equal to 1.04 day by unit. This is a observed value of dipole moment for this HCl molecule. It is a 1.05 day by unit. And if we consider its bond length, if we consider the bond length of this HCl molecule, bond length, it is equal to 1.275 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. So these are the two important values regarding this HCl molecule. First is that its observed dipole moment is equal to 1.04 day by unit and the bond length of this HCl molecule is a 1.275 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. Now if we consider suppose this HCl molecule is called as ionic. If suppose this HCl molecule if we consider it is ionic molecule then what happens if the molecule is ionic molecule and if the position of the bonding pair and if the position of the bonding pair in between these two atoms is shifted more towards or it gets shifted towards this chlorine atom under that condition what we can say so we can say that that molecule has the presence of H plus molecule so H plus ion and Cl minus ions. So you can say that if the bonding electron pair is shifted towards this chlorine atom <coughs> under that condition, it has the two types of the ions. One is called as H plus ion, and second ion is called as the Cl minus ion. And under that condition, we can say that that molecule is called as the 100% ionic. That molecule is called as the 100% ionic. That molecule is called as the 100% ionic molecule. 
So when we consider this HCl molecule is a 100% ionic, so under that condition we are interested to calculate the dipole moment of the molecule. So un under that condition we are interested to calculate dipole moment of a molecule. So that dipole moment is called as the mu ionic. So mu ionic is equal to mu ionic is equal to for this HCl molecule this mu ionic is equal to Q into L is equal to Q into L. Now what do you mean by this Q? So Q is nothing but the charge present on a single electron or on a single charge. What is the constant value of this Q? So for this purpose we take here the constant value of this charge present on a any type of the ionic species. This L is called as the bond length. This bond length we already know here. It is 1.275 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. And if you consider the constant value for this Q is there. So it is a 4.8 it is the 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 ESU multiplied by so this is the value for this Q 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 ESU multiplied by its bond length it is equal to 1.275 it is the 1.275 into 10 to the minus 8 centimeter so if we consider these two values and if we solve this simple multiplication, we get mu ionic is equal to, we get mu ionic is equal to, its value is obtained is equal to 6.12 day by, its value obtained is equal to 6.12 day by. So we can say that if we consider the HCl molecule, if suppose it is a 100% ionic molecule. So under that condition, if we calculate the dipole moment of a molecule and that dipole moment is called as the mu ionic, this mu ionic is equal to Q into L. The value for this Q is a 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 ESU. And for this bond length, it is a 1.275 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. So the value obtained is equal to 6.12 day by. So this is called as the dipole moment of a HCl molecule when it is considered to be the 100% ionic molecule. Now, if we look towards carefully the two type of the different values for HCl molecule, it has the observed dipole moment. It has the observed dipole moment is equal to 1.04 day by. Its observed dipole moment is equal to 1.04 day by, but its ionic dipole moment or its mu ionic is equal to 6.12 day by. So what happens here? In this case, the exact value for this dipole moment, if we want to calculate, then what happens? We have the two different values for this dipole moment. One is a 1.04 day by, second is called as a 6.12 day by. So under this situation, what we have to consider here? If we consider that HCl, in a HCl molecule, if that bonding pair is exactly present at the center of the bond, if this bonding pair is present at the center of the, these two atoms, then under that condition, what happens? That HCl molecule is considered to be the non-polar or it has the zero dipole moment. But what happens? Its observed value is not a zero, but it is equal to 1.04 day by. So we can say that this HCl molecule may have the polar character or percentage of ionic character in between the 0 to the 100, in between the 0 to the 100. So for this purpose, if we want to calculate its percent ionic character, and that is the first important applications of this dipole moment measurement. So for this purpose, what we have to consider here now, the percentage ionic character for HCl, percentage ionic character, percentage ionic character is equal to this percentage ionic character for this HCl is equal to mu observed divided by mu ionic. This is a mu observed divided by mu ionic multiplied by 100. So this is a simple equation for the calculation of percentage ionic character of a molecule. That is a ratio of mu observed divided by mu ionic multiplied by 100. Now in this case what happens, we have the two different values of this dipole moment for the HCl. One is a mu observed and that is equal to 1.04 day by. So it is equal to now 1.04 day by divided by its mu ionic just we calculated here. It is a 6.12 day by. It is a 6.12 day by multiplied by 100. So if we substitute these values and if we solve this simple relation or this simple equation, the value for this mu ionic 
परसेंट जो अपनी आई कम्स आउट टू बी सेवेंटीन परसेंट The value comes out to be 17 percent. Therefore, we can say that the percent ionic character of HCl, percent ionic character of HCl is equal to 17 percent. So, when we say that the HCl molecule is a polar molecule, sorry, uh, it's a polar molecule or it's ionic molecule. Now, what is the extent of ionic character or what is the extent extent of polarity is there in this HCl molecule? That polarity can be calculated with the help of this type of the simple equation. So, if we solve this, the percent character of HCl obtained is equal to the 17 percent, or HCl molecule is called as the 17 percent ionic. So, this is the first important applications of this. Measurement of dipole moment of a molecule. So from this value or from this application, we can get an idea regarding the percent ionic character of a molecule. So for this purpose, what we take here, we consider a simple molecule for our discussion, and that molecule is called a HCl molecule. For the HCl molecule, two type of the properties or two type of the values we already know here. First property is called as its observed dipole moment, and second is called as the bond length. Once we know these two type of the values, what happens? If we consider, suppose this HCl molecule is a 100% ionic. Suppose under that under that condition, what happens? There are the two type of the charges are there, H plus and Cl minus. So under this situation, its dipole moment is called as the mu ionic. If we calculate this mu ionic, it comes out to be 6.12 day by. After that, if we consider, suppose the position of the bonding pair present between these two atoms is exactly at the center, that molecule is called as the non-polar. But what happens? It is not a non polar it has some resultant value of dipole moment so it is our duty to calculate what is the percentage of ionic character in a hcl molecule and for this purpose we use here a simple relation a simple ratio we take here percent ionic character is equal to a ratio of observed dipole moment to that of the its ionic dipole moment multiplied by the 100 and if we substitute in this equation that value obtained is equal to 17% so we can say that hcl molecule is called as the 17% ionic and this is the first important applications of the dipole moment measurement so today we consider only one of the important applications of this dipole moment measurement the remaining applications we will take in a next video lecture so with this today i stop here thank you so much